So, you can use vegetation sometimes to tell you if your pond's having problems draining, particularly the shorelines. So, I noticed something when I was first looking down this bank, and that is that you have this really obvious band of different color vegetation running down here. And when you get closer to it, you see there's standing water. And when you look even closer, I'm not an expert on wetland plants, but I recognize enough that these are wetland plants. I believe there's some kind of a rush. And the reason that they're able to get established here is because this soil is always wet. Just for reference, I'm at least 20, 25 feet from the shoreline of the actual pond. So, if you pay attention to the vegetation growing on the pond banks, they can tell you sometimes when you have a problem. And here you see these taller grasses, which are bulrush, which again only grow in water that is perennially damp and wet. Taken together, this, uh, the soil here is a very uh, soft as well when you're walking on it. Taken together, this clearly tells you that this pond has problems draining. It hasn't rained any of any serious amount in the last week or so around here and yet the pond is still kind of high you can see that even some of that vegetation is still out in the water and there's really no reason for it to be that way and this tells me that it's a small pond with a small watershed there's not a stream coming into it it doesn't seem to be able to drain very it's not draining at the right level and uh, that tells me there's something wrong with the standpipe so if you pay attention to the vegetation and you know anything about the uh, ecology uh, of wetlands and wetland plants, they sometimes can give you a cue that something might be wrong in paradise.